Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Taz Olson here, and I'm here to give you yet another video showing you guys how to make your crappy video quality look better. You know, say if you shot it and it was in the dark and it wasn't a very good camera, so you get a lot of grain, or maybe you had a high ISO, or who knows what. You have a lot of grain in your video and it's it's choppy. I'm going to show you how, for the best method I've seen so far, to fix this. It is an awesome little plugin that can go for pretty much any program. So, you know, Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, you know, Sony Vegas. Uh, it's for pretty much everything. And it's extremely simple. So, let's start off. We got this extremely grainy video I shot on my old camera here. You know, it's 480p and stuff. You know, it's 480p. What we're going to do, we're going to take uh, this awesome plugin called Neat Video. That is the plugin. And it's extremely simple. It doesn't require a whole lot of knowledge, thinking, or even much power from your computer. It's it's absolutely incredible. So all you really need to do is you hit configure. Uh, take a little section here that you think is the most grainy. Uh, that it just basically makes it a little bit more effective. Hit auto profile, or at least the area you wish to focus on the most. Now it's automatically going to filter it. Already you can see quite a big difference. Now say you want say you have something that doesn't have a whole lot of detail to it and you want to fix that you can go into these settings here and you have a few basics so you can like sharpen only but you know you don't really want to sharpen only no uh, remove only half noise is quite often a more popular th uh, one that you would use because what does it do it's a very good medium between not losing much quality and extremely smooth or at least quite a bit smoother uh, as it is even if you go full filtered you know uh, remove all noise it's you still don't even lose that much quality on a 480p video it's absolutely incredible how you lose so little but you know say you want to keep a little bit more you could either drop how much uh, noise you're uh, removing and there has this nice little sharpening thing you can increase the detail a little bit that way and seeing as it's in the same video like it seems it's in the same plugin it already has the video information of the original video file so you can actually effectively sharpen so I could like remove all noise and sharpen it a bit and it will preserve quite a bit of detail so but most of the time I don't really like to sharpen it because I find it adds a little bit more green than I like. So uh, anyway, that's really all it requires. That is going to be a 480p video. We have another example here. It is going to be this really not super great HD video this time. This one was shot with my newer camera. Let's add it in again. There's quite a bit of uh, green right here on the shot on the on the green wall right there. So let's hit configure. And seeing as we're going to specifically focus on the green, let's select the green, auto profile, noise filter settings, and uh, you go over here, remove only half noise, it works. You're also able to add like a little box here so you can figure out, you can see side by side which is filtered and which is not. Uh, you could remove all noise, and like you can't even tell it's the same video clip, it's absolutely insane the kind of differences you're going to see here you can test it on all the different levels of detail I've got around here and it works phenomenal like I'm hardly losing any detail here and I'm gaining quite a bit of smoothness that and grain is being removed at a great rate it is definitely a plugin I would recommend on every level so let's go with that and so until next time, my name is Taz Olson. I'm going to be signing off here. If you need help, leave your questions and comments and stuff in the comment section below. If you liked it, hey, give me a like. Let me know. If not, if you have a suggestion, let me know of those too. So, yeah, until next time, my name is Taz Olson, signing off. Goodbye.